Welcome to the channel everyone, this is Easy Gamer. how are you all doing? It's been a long time, long time that I haven't uploaded a video or done anything on YouTube. Um, the reasons for that is we had computer issues and things went a bit cockeye. Uh, computer packed up, graphics card packed up, but I have spoken about it before, uh, we are working on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I thought I would do is to stay in touch with all my U my YouTube fa uh, followers and everything. I will upload many little videos of things coming and going, and yeah, just try to stay in contact. What I can do, where I can do it, with what. So for the next upcoming date in War Thunder, we have got a ship that's been wanted, I think, and that I'm in two minds about. We're looking at the USS Arizona, the BB thirty nine. The heading for this is all or nothing. It's a big ship. Um, not gonna lie to you, very big ship. But let's read a bit about the ship, then we'll get into a bit of history that I found out about it. Not really, not gonna go in depth history on it, but yeah, let's just go into it. The USS Arizona is one of two Pennsylvania class battleships built for the US Navy during World War One, integrating many new technologies which would find themselves in sequently American battleship designs. Soon captain captains will be able to change and take command of the famous USS Arizona as arrived in War Thunder naval battles for the next major update. Yes, this one is the BB-38 and the sister ship was the BB-30, this is the BB-39, sorry, and the sister ship was the BB-38. Um, they were Pennsylvania classes built at uh, New York City at the Brooklyn uh, docks. Uh, yeah, this one, as far as I understand, didn't see m much conflict. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't get anything correct information, but it didn't see much. Uh, it was off the Caribbean coast most of the time, as I can understand. USS Arizona, um, excellent armor protection, numerous uh, hard hitting cannons, poor AA defense, low mobility. So yeah, um, not gonna be too bad on, the, I think. But yeah, I'll get to my thoughts on it a bit later. Mm, uh, a brief, um, an American World War One era super dreadnought battleship incorporating heavy armor protection and firepower, but lacking in mobility. Oh well, you're driving a bus in water, so you're not gonna be able to turn. Uh, so we can go have a look at some of the pictures. Yeah, very nice. And then you got two by you got you got two uh, uh, planes on board, <coughs> so you could be able to maybe use these in an anti-aircraft defense. I'm not sure. Um, in War Thunder, the U.S. Arizona will be the new battleship joining the ranks of the U.S. Navy, which will release a major update featuring heavy-duty armor protection, thermal firing. These American so-called super dreadnoughts will sure to be shaking up with it coming to uh, arriving to the War Thunder naval battle. Being, being a battleship, US Arizona features some of the most significant firepower found along these types of warships. In War Thunder, such as common fitted with four triple 14 inch 353 millimeter turrets comprising of a primary weapon arsenal, far reaching and hard hitting. A heavy 14 round fire with these cannons pursue an average muzzle velocity but excels penetration capability. Even at long engagement distance uh, on the flip, flipping side, the con coin, however these large caliber guns come with also having sustainable low rate of fire. Yeah, okay, okay blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read all of that, not going to read all of that. Primary guns, US Arizona also presents secondary weapons complete consisting of 12.5 inches, 51 calibers, 127 millimeter cannons mounted in cosmates on the ship's sides, directing to engage other surface targets. Additional, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, 5 inch, 25 caliber cannons lacking the we um, weather deck aid. Shifting defense itself into air attack last last lastly. Additional eight fifty caliber heavy machine guns suitable on platforms and main main nest 
aid at secondary cannons to the later role. However, the US Arizona capable against surface targets are unquestionably evap lack of anti air protection. Okay, 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 okay. What do we have here? Uh, armor US Arizona for this thick armor plating around the machines and ma um, magazines while the rest of the ship remains vertically unprotected. As implied by the armor scheme, name of itself. In fact, the US Arizona belt ranged between 342, uh, 43 to 203 millimeters in thickness. That should actually be other way around. While the turret featured uh, 457 to 250 of armor overall, the high level of protection is additional to having the large complement of 1,390 sa 1, sailors make the USS Arizona a true juggernaut of the high seas, but also a rather clumsy vessel as a result of able to, to attend to a stop speed of 20, I can say almost 21 KTS or 38 knots. It's not too bad for this size ship, actually. Uh, as you can see, sorry, my video graphic thing might be, picture quality will be bad because no... <coughs> uh, no graphics card. Um, so I'm going to get into a bit of history. The ship was launched in uh, 19th of June, um, 1915. Length was 184, 185 millimeters. Decommissioned in 29th of December, 1941. Didn't have a very long life. S State Memorial. Uh, the wreck of it is still at Pearl Harbor, where it's become a memorial site. Um, yeah, it's just a memorial site now. Very nice to actually see that they kept it. Uh, yeah, so ordered in 4th of March, nine, 1913. So it was actually a quite quick build, uh, basically two years almost to build the ship. Now, like I said, there were two of them built, the BB-38 and the BB-39. <coughs> They were named after Arizona, the 38th state of America. Um, they were actually part of the Pen uh, Pennsylvania class of ships built in Brooklyn. And the ship costed 16 billion US dollars, if I'm not mistaken, to make. Uh, quite a shitload of money for that time. Shitload of money. I think it was 16 million. Billion. There was a lot of noughts on behind the figure. So, yeah. <coughs> Very nice ship. And something that caught my eye in this um, dev blog was this. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, it was this. The U.S. Arizona has set course for war thunder, naval battles, and is expected to arrive in the in the game as part of the next major update coming in the near future. In the meantime, keep your binoculars and hands at binoculars at hand and keep scanning. The new section as we continue to release new information and the update upcoming update until then claim c calm seas captain i've got just by reading this piece here i've got a sp uh, uh, i'm expecting this to be a naval update i'm really expecting this to be a naval update just by what they said in this whole sentence here um <coughs> and they are opening with a very big ship because I went back and because I've been I haven't been monitoring what's been going on I went back to see if there's been any other updates or anything that re relates to this and there's nothing so they open up with a big fan ship that's going to be people will run after to play it so yeah I've got an idea this could be a very nice uh, naval update my thoughts on this ship is basically if Gaijin doesn't balance this correct, all your American taboos that like big guns, this could be a menace for everybody else. If they balance this right, it could just be a normal <coughs> dreadnought. But if they don't balance it, this could lead to some big issues in the game. So we'll have to wait and see what happens here. And then, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to keep watching our videos, please. And don't forget to hit that like, dislike, leave a comment. We are still around both channels, the Go Easy channel and my channel. So, yeah.
thanks a lot guys for watching don't forget to hit the like dislike subscribe and leave us a comment it's always mighty appreciated and i'll keep everyone updated and i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye